HB 41 News reporter Emma James joins us live now. And Emma, you talked to some folks around the metro who just refused to let the weather change their plans. Yep, that's right. We drove around some Olathe neighborhoods and we met some very inspiring people. Instead of focusing on the inconveniences that this kind of weather can cause, they chose to only focus on the positives. Were you so excited when you saw snow this morning? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was, we're covered in snow now, huh? Mm -hmm. When the snow comes down, you can bet Elizabeth Burns and her three-year-old daughter Gwenny are out enjoying it. We are really excited to get out. We've been excited to get out every time it snows, and so today was more exciting because there's more snow. For Elizabeth and Gwenny, the choice to get out is rooted in a bigger purpose. They're taking on the 1,000 Hours Outside Challenge, a way to spend less time in front of screens and more out in nature. We are really working hard to embrace that there's no bad weather only bad gear, so we bundled up and came out to play. Burns says getting outside every single day this year, no matter the weather, is her family's top priority. Every member of our family has benefited greatly from being outside. It was also a productive day for Olathe North High School senior Hasten Terry, who chose to spend his free time clearing his walkway. I think I'd probably be rather at school and rather it be warm weather, but I don't mind shoveling the snow either. And just a few streets over, Ada Stoltz prefers to spend snowy days hard at work on his homemade snowplow. You're better off doing something. You'll live a lot longer. After doing his own driveway, he always spreads the love around the neighborhood, saying he likes to help others and he doesn't want to be bored. You know, it's not that enjoyable sometimes, but, you, you know, you don't let the weather uh, dictate what you're going to do. If you decide to do something, go ahead and do it. His only regret? Not building an enclosed cab onto his plow. That's not very smart. So if I had to do over again, I'd look for something that had a nice heater in it, was closed in, and that way you could stay warm. Adis tell, tells us he's had that snowplow for about seven years, and he really enjoys helping his neighbors out, plowing their driveway, especially those who shouldn't be out doing it themselves. He says he'll probably be working into the evening hours tonight. Live in Mission, Emma James, KSHB 41 News.